let's talk about willpower. Sort of a vague subject, very broad, but let's bring it into the realm of music practice, okay? Something we can do to get better at music is to establish a routine, establish a habit of practicing. A lot of times that fizzles out because we don't have the reserves of willpower to do it. Okay. The good news is the more you practice willpower, the easier it is. Okay. So let's say, for instance, that you have 10 minutes a day. You. It looks to you that you have 10 minutes a day to practice. Okay. But you've had a long day at work. You're you're dealing with kids if you have them, or you. You know, you have, you, if you're young, you have school that you're dealing with all day long. You have other activities that you have to engage in. So when that 10 minutes comes around to practice, it's like, you know, I think I might rather take that time to veg. <laughs> so finding the willpower to practice can be done a couple different ways. First off, group practicing in with something else. All right, so pretend that practicing your fiddle is part of school. You know, say your school's not done actually until you do your 10 minutes of practicing fiddle, okay? Another thing you can do is remove areas of willpower that you're exercising if they're not as important to you as playing fiddle. For example, if if you we're trying to learn an, a foreign language at the same time as playing fiddle, but you found that it's very hard to do both. You know, one time you'll do foreign language, another time fiddle, and you, before you know it, you feel stretched too thin, and then you can't even do either of them, right? So if you remove one, that makes space, for, a little bit of space at least, for the other, and then that seems less daunting and, and less taxing on your willpower to make that happen. Okay. One other strategy I think that helps with willpower is to group your fiddle practice in with another habit or a, or a joyful habit. So let's say that, you know, you, you view after dinner, you know, you have a good feeling usually at that time. And, uh, you know, after, after you're done eating, you're usually on a high, you know, and you're, you're looking forward to the rest of your evening. Maybe fill in that, that good feeling or high and group it in with practicing fiddle. You know, there, there are lots of different ways that you can take advantage. Or let's say you like, you like the time that you have in the morning when you're making your coffee or you're making breakfast, anything, you know, that stuff has time to cook, or that stuff has time to cool down, or it has time to take a break from enjoying, right? You're not going to down your whole coffee in a matter of seconds, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you may need to, but most of the time not. And so take a break from your coffee, play for 10 minutes on and off, you know? All that stuff, you can trick your willpower into making it thing like making making it seem like practicing fiddle isn't such a hassle or isn't, isn't such a big ordeal. You know, it can just become a simple part of your daily routine.